Wednesday, August 25th. Another month, almost gone. Before I know it, it's gonna be another year gone. It's crazy to think about. Time really does fly. Alright, so today I'm grateful for the gift of, I guess maybe compassion, I guess is a good word for it, um, that God gave me, because like I, I literally do genuinely, the people that I talk to and I'm trying to keep on a positive note, all of them, like I genuinely do care about them. And like I really, I know how it feels to be in their position. And sometimes, some of them, I'm even still in their position at times. So I know how how they feel. And you know, I'm, not everybody can say that. You know, a lot of people are self. You know, they only care about themselves. And, what they can do for themselves and you know I I'm glad that I I know that I'm genuine with it I don't care what other people think but like I know that I'm genuine and I really do want to help second I'm grateful although it's short and a lot of times I act like I'm, or I seem to be rushed or in a hurry. The, the time, little conversations I get to have with mom. Because I know it makes her happy. I know that she's happy. Watch out, object on road ahead. Um, knowing that, you know, I got, I'm improving and I'm making the necessary changes, but also because I never had a relationship with her. And although I loved her because she was my mom, I had a lot of mixed feelings, you know, about her, which led to me having mixed feelings about most women. And which, of course, ultimately ended up in a lot of issues in my life but I'm glad that I'm getting all this all that cleared up and lastly I'm grateful for although they're small in comparison to a lot of things the, the goals that I have set forth because I remember I didn't have any goals at all and I've, I struggled for a real long time trying to make goals and I was putting too much thought into it. So, you know, and I'm seeing my, my work paying off. I'm seeing my persistence pay off. And, you know, it just, it feels really good. And I'm very, very thankful for that. So I haven't made a video since, I don't know, Sunday, Saturday. But I've been noticing that, and I've known this for a while, but the stomach issues that Dad had, I have the same exact ones. Like, exactly the same. And I, I don't know what it is. I really don't. For a long time, I thought it was dehydration. But I seem to be hydrated now, and I seem to be, like, hydrating often. So I, I'm not necessarily sure if that's it. But my diet also did change, so, you know, I know that had a lot to do with it. And I found myself yesterday, you know, feeling a little bit better, and the first thoughts that came into my mind was trying to talk myself into going to food line and buying some more damn ice cream. Like, no. I, I, I have done very well with my discipline, disciplining myself, and 
I want to continue to discipline myself and, you know, keep myself away from the crap. Um, you know, because I don't like feeling like garbage. I, I don't like being in a pissy, bitchy mood and always just feeling like blah. So, I talked myself out of it yesterday, although I did have some stupid little cookie ice cream thing that was in mom's freezer, but, I mean, that's what it is. I, I, I've always done things to the extreme, and my bowls of ice cream have been like, you know, triple to four times what a normal person's is. Maybe that's what my problem's been. I don't know. But I'm trying to get back on the diet that I was on. And uh, just keep it that way. Today I'm heading to the Southern Pines, Pinehurst area. That's where I'm going right now. Got a few jobs out there. I was on a night schedule. And just like all, always, it, it messed with me. And when I went to sleep, I, I slept clear through. I mean, I got up a few times to use the bathroom, but you know, it seemed like every time I was getting up, I was just still tired. So I, I got back on a day schedule. And uh, I actually woke up later than I should have. I didn't wake up till like 10 or quarter after six, which is kind of shitty. But uh, yeah, um, Cassie got up with me and told me she's gonna bring me to train table. You know, I guess she's seeing how what something sentimental could mean to somebody, you know, especially when it was a family member that's no longer here. So, you know, in a way, I'm, I am grateful for that, but also, at the same time, I'm like, you know, I know you, and I know that you and your boyfriend, whatever the fuck y'all were, probably had some issues. Let's get started. Drive safely. Turn right. Shut up, GBS. And, uh, so, you know, I'm just whatever. She's supposed to be meeting with me tomorrow to drop it off. And then, um, I don't know. She's saying something about food or whatever, but. I'm not going to let myself get into the same, tr literally, trap I got into before. Um, I'm not going to allow it to happen. And, uh, so yeah. Um, just see what goes on with that, but I'm not, I, God was talking to me a lot about forgiveness days leading up to when she contacted me and you know yeah cool you know I forgive her and you know I, I, yeah I know I was I was all over the place and I was doing a lot of stupid shit and it was hard for me to stay focused and to do right but you know uh, it's a two way street anyway that's that. But, uh, God, today I give you my mind, my body, and my soul. And I ask that you please guide me through this day and help me. Because I really need you. Please help me get back on track and stay on track. Which I seem to be getting back on track. But thank you for this day and everybody in it. And if it's part of your will, may I be the light in somebody's life today. 
ask and pray all this. In Jesus' name, amen.